Hello, and welcome to Let's Play SimCity 4, Episode 3, The Moment of Truth. In this episode, we'll go ahead and zone these empty little blocks that I've created, and see if the city that I've laid out so far is going to succeed or fall on its face. Now, can't do it that large, okay. Now, the first thing I want to do is go ahead and put down these uh, residential zones, simply because I like putting down poli uh, people first. Though I've already got uh, some industry up top, but that's okay. I'm not gonna go. Oh no, that was supposed to be f three, not four. But that's okay. High density, which I plan on going to, is requires four. So when I go for high density, they'll be already set and ready to go. That's fine. Not a mistake. Not a mistake. No, 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 no. And that was supposed to be three by three, and it's three by two now. But that's okay too. This also is the mistake. Nope. This is just a happy little accident. Now, if you can tell me who's actually said that, I'll do something for you. I don't know what. But yes, we have not made mistakes here. You cannot make mistakes in your city. You only have happy little accidents. Let's see, I'm gonna make most of this commercial. Reason being, it's closest to our industry, and our industry really, really, really needs the largest buffer I can give it. Because there's going to be so much pollution. I know I've been saying that for a long time now. Going on and on and on about pollution, but trust me, when I... Oh, shoot. When I undo this, or when I unpause this, sorry, you'll see why I'm saying that over and over again. Now I'm putting... Um light commercial in here because that's all I really need to start off with I'm gonna do medium residential and anything more is just overkill I don't have enough for a high density I don't have enough people for high density can't have like I don't know a thousand people working in one office building when your population is only what 1,000 that just doesn't work at all does it so, even though if you know what you're doing, you generally have to do a little bit of building up. And that's just the game. Let's go ahead and do that. Oh, I'm taking so much time doing this. In fact, so much time I'm going to unpause it. It can build up while I'm playing. That's okay. Now, again, I'm using Alt and Control to go ahead and move these guys to the direction I want them to face. If they do not face a road, they will have ugly little zots next to them telling me they can't get out, and if they can't get out, nobody can get in. Now that's a problem. Leaving this empty, these, uh, this space, I have plans for that space. Big plans. Um, let's see. What else? Like I mentioned, I have plans for the entire region, actually. And with the next few episodes, you should really start to get a clue. Oops. Yeah, power, power, power. Thank you very much. You should really start to get a clue as to what those plans are. So when you think you know, like I said, go ahead and tell me. Maybe you're right, maybe you're wrong. You can always give you another zone if you're right. Or if you're uh, wrong, but I like your idea. Let's see, you need a little bit more commercial to fill this out, or residential, sorry, to fill this out. You've noticed that I've not given them water, you've noticed I've not given them police, haven't even given them fire yet. Now, is that because I'm mean? No. It's not because I'm mean and want to see them suffer. Of course not. No, it's only because I want to give this city a bunch of problems to start off with, and one by one, I'm going to show you how to get rid of those problems. That way, if you're making, if you're building your own city, you might uh, see something that goes wrong in this one and you'll see how I correct it and you'll be able to hopefully take that same idea, apply it to yours and go on your way to creating a city that you uh, have always wanted. Now these guys are lying. They are actually connected but I guess it's just a bug within the game. I built so quickly that it just can't process it momentarily. Though this one is a mistake, no. I almost said the M word. 
that was a happy accident. Now I can go ahead and put it back over here. Stop doing that. There we go. So it looks like everything's building. I'd call that a success in and of itself. We've got a resident or an industry building, we've got a residence, commercial, everything's going nicely. But soon we're gonna have traffic jams, we're gonna have demands for fire, police, we're gonna have you probably already see it. Yeah, look at that bar. See this? Agriculture. Huge, huge demand for agriculture. That's what I mentioned in uh, my first city, or my first episode, that this bar would just never ever go away. But in the next episodes, I'm going to show you how to get this bar to go away. 2,000 people and growing, not bad. They're complaining about the lack of lifespan. Why? Because there's no, uh, there's no medical. And yeah, I got a few people beginning to abandon their homes because of it. Not a surprise, we got trash all over the place. We got no fire, no police, no education, no health. Oh my god, no water either. Like I said, we got a huge host of problems in this city. So uh, I hope you look forward to me going over and fixing each of these problems. So you can see how to fix them in your own cities. At least hopefully I can. That is a goal I've set for myself. I usually try not to have problems arise, but they tend to anyway. I'm not used to having so many at once though, but that shouldn't be a problem. There we go, they have water. And instantly they build up because of it. So I guess I'm going to go ahead and end this uh, episode here. My next one, thank you very much. My next one, you can go ahead and see how I solve these problems. Hope you tune in for that one. Take care.